Aphrodite and Anvil were the World War II code names of United States Army Air Forces and United States Navy operations to use B-17 and PB-4Y bombers as precision-guided munitions against bunkers and other hardened-slash-reinforced enemy facilities, such as those targeted during Operation Crossbow. The plan called for B-17 aircraft that had been taken out of operational service, Various nicknames existed such as Robot, Baby, Drone, or Weary Willy to be loaded to capacity with explosives, and flown by radio control into bomb-resistant fortifications such as German U-boat pens and V-weapon sites. It was hoped that it would match the British success with Tallboy and Grand Slam ground penetration bombs but the project was dangerous, expensive, and unsuccessful. Of 14 missions flown, none resulted in the successful destruction of a target. Many aircraft lost control and crashed or were shot down by flak, and many pilots were killed. However, a handful of aircraft scored near misses. One notable pilot death was that of L.T. Joseph P. Kennedy, Jr., USNR, the elder brother of future U.S. President John F. Kennedy. The program effectively ceased on January 27, 1945 when General Spatz sent an urgent message to do little. Aphrodite babies must not be launched against the enemy until further orders. Proposal By late 1943, General Henry H. Arnold had directed Brigadier General Grandison Gardner's electronic engineers at Eglin Field, Florida, to outfit war-weary bombers with automatic pilots so that they could be remotely controlled. The plan was first proposed to Major General James H. Doolittle sometime in 1944. Doolittle approved the plan for Operation Aphrodite on June 26, and assigned the 3rd Bombardment Division with preparing and flying the drone aircraft, which was to be designated BQ-7. In the U.S. Navy's similar project, Operation Anvil, the drone was designated BQ-8. Final assignment of responsibility was given to the 562nd Bomb Squadron at RAF Honington in Suffolk. Similarly, on July 6, 1944 the U.S. Navy Special Attack Unit, SAW-1, was formed under Com Air Land, with Commander James A. Smith, officer in charge, for transfer without delay to Commander Fleet Air Wing 7 in Europe to attack German V-1 and V-2 sites with PB-4Y-1S converted to assault drones. Procedure Old Boeing B-17 Flying Fortress bombers were stripped of all normal combat armament and all other non-essential gear, armor, guns, bomb racks, transceiver, seats, etc., relieving about 12,000 pounds, 5,400 kilograms, of weight. To allow easier exit when the pilot and co-pilot were to parachute out, the canopy was removed. Azen radio remote control equipment was added, with two television cameras fitted in the cockpit to allow a view of both the ground and the main instrumentation panel to be transmitted back to an accompanying CQ-17 mothership. The drone was loaded with explosives weighing more than twice that of a B-17S normal bomb payload. The British Torpex used for the purpose was itself 50% more powerful than TNT. A relatively remote location in Norfolk, RAF FERS field, was the launch site. Initially, RAF Woodbridge had been selected for its long runway, but the possibility of a damaged aircraft that diverted to Woodbridge for landings colliding with a loaded drone caused concerns. The remote control system was insufficient for safe takeoff, so each drone was taken aloft by a volunteer pilot and a volunteer flight engineer to an altitude of 2,000 feet, 600 m, for transfer of control to the CQ-17 operators. After successful turnover of control of the drone, the two-man crew would arm the payload and parachute out of the cockpit. The mothership would then direct the missile to the target. When the training program was complete, the 562nd Squadron had 10 drones and 4 motherships. Missions Aphrodite Missions Target Date Aircraft Notes Mimoyx August 4, 1944 1B-17 Mission 515, Pilot Lt. Fane Poole and Autopilot Engineer S. Sergeant Philip Enterline successfully parachuted, and the drone spun out of control. Seracourt V-1 Bunker August 4, 1944 B-17 39835 Mission 515, Control Problems Led to Drone Crashing in Wood at Sudburn, P. 
pilot killed when abandoned aircraft too soon. Watton, Wizards August 4, 1944 2B-17S Mission 515, one plane lost control after the first crewman bailed out, and crashed near Orford, making a huge crater and destroying more than two acres, 8,000 sqm, of the surrounding countryside, the second crewman was killed. The view from the nose of the other drone was obscured as it came over the target, and it missed by several hundred feet. Alternate sources claim one hit 1,500 feet short and one was shot down, and that one drone crashed killing one crew of two men. Wadden August 6, 1944 B-17 30,342 B-17 30,212, Quarterback B-17 31,394 crews abandoned the missiles without complications, a few minutes later one lost control and fell into the sea. Both 30,342 and 31,394 experienced control problems and crashed into the sea, while B-17 30,342 t ain't a bird too impacted at grave lines, probably due to flak damage. The other also lost control, but turned inland and began to circle the important industrial town and port of Ipswich. After several minutes, it crashed harmlessly at sea. Heli Goland August 1944 After modifications to change to a different control system, the second casualty of the operation was suffered during this mission, when one pilot's parachute failed to open. The missile also failed, most likely shot down by flak before reaching the target. Heidi August 1944 Four drones three aircraft failed to reach their target due to control malfunctions, the fourth crashed near enough to cause significant damage and high casualties. Mimoyx August 12, 1944 PB4Y132271, XUSAF B24J42-110007, the single US Navy BQ-8 detonated prematurely over the Blythe Estuary, Eastern England, killing Lt. Joseph P. Kennedy, Jr. and Lt. Wilford J. Willey. Mission 549-LE Haver August 13, 1944 1B17 The drone with 2,000 pounds, 907 kilograms, of bombs missed the target and a supporting de Havilland mosquito was destroyed by the exploding bombs. Heligoland U-boat pens September 3, 1944 PB4Y163954 Second U.S. and Anvil Project Controller flew aircraft into Dune Island by mistake. Heligoland U-boat pens September 11, 1944 B-17 30,180 hit by enemy flak and crashed into sea. Hemingstead September 14, 1944 B-17 S 39,827 and 30,363, Ruth L3, against the Hemingstead slash Heidi oil refinery target of the oil campaign, unsuccessfully attacked by conventional bombers on August 4, both drones missed the target due to poor weather conditions. Heligoland U-boat pens October 15, 1944 B-17 30,039 Liberty Bell. B-17 37,743 Both drones missed target due to poor weather conditions. Heligoland U-boat pens October 30, 1944 B-17 30,066, Mugwump. B-17 3,438 Mission 693A. Two of five B-17s make an Aphrodite attack on Heligoland Island, Germany, escort is provided by 7P-47S. Concluding that the BQ-7 was not successful against hard targets, United States Strategic Air Forces headquarters ordered that it be sent against industrial targets instead, and two more missions were flown. Bad weather prevented the primary target from being identified, and both aircraft were directed towards Berlin. 3,438 soon crashed into water due to low fuel. 30,066 flew independently to Sweden where it crashed. The escorting aircraft had previously had to return due to low fuel. Hereford Marshalling Yard December 5, 1944 B-17 39,824 B-17 30,353, 10 nights in the bar room. Target not located due to cloud cover, so both directed at alternate target of Haldorf. 
both crashed outside town. Oldenburg Power Station January 1, 1945 B-1730178 Darlin Dolly and B-1730237 Stump Jumper Stump Jumper Pilot was Captain Jack L. Hodson who received the Distinguished Flying Cross for his actions. Both shot down by flak before reaching target. Please subscribe and thanks for watching.